So I don't know what's going on, guys, but it seems like there's uh, constantly trouble in podcasting paradise. It seems like the uh, old podcasting gig, doing podcasting as an occupation, can actually be very taxing. And it's really easy to uh, slip up during those, you know, two or three hour recordings that some of these podcasts are having. I mean, we've seen the stuff that recently happened with Joe Rogan, him getting absolutely bodied into a corner and forcing himself to change his stance. And I've said this for a long time, I thought it was crazy when Spotify signed Joe Rogan, because Spotify is super left-leaning. Joe Rogan, on the other hand, I guess you could say he's more of a centrist, but you can tell the dude is a little bit more on the right side, and he has absolutely no problem with bringing people with right-wing ideology onto his platform, which is fine, but when, like, those ordeals don't exactly line up with what Spotify probably thinks, that's like a hundred million dollar nightmare that they paid for themselves. I always thought that was a bad partnership, I think it's proving to be pretty true. I mean, honestly, I've talked to a few people who are really big fans of the Joe Joe Rogan podcast when it was really just mainly over on YouTube and a lot of them say I stopped listening to the show it just doesn't hit the same on Spotify I was all about the comment section and now it's gone and then he got Joe Budden I mean it's no secret that his podcast has been going through a lot too I gotta say though I do applaud Joe for his resilience I can't say I really respect a lot of his tastes or the way he's treating his co-host, but something about his fuck it attitude has been a little bit refreshing, I would not lie to you. But either way, those are like two major podcasts from two very different spheres that uh, have gone through some turbulence lately, you could say. And now we have another pretty big podcast, uh, Impulsive, you know, Logan Paul's podcast that he does with uh, this guy George and of course the infamous Mike who never knows how to stop talking about two things, his addiction to drugs and his P-star ex-girlfriend. I mean, that's like this dude's two claims to fame. And of course, sucking off Logan Paul so he can get all that clout. But it seems like it's kind of now backfiring on him, okay? This guy has agreed to go on multiple podcasts, and I think also on like his Twitch stream. And he said a couple things about Logan Paul that painted Logan in a pretty bad light and made Logan kind of look like a big time liar. And let me just run the clips real quick so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. A different, I provided Who's a different Harry? viewpoint, Harry Styles, with the dress, <laughs> with the dressing. I provided a different viewpoint because I'm going to be honest with you. There are a lot of times where Logan is can be a dick rider on shit, and I was providing a fucking <laughs> on on stuff like that. Like if Logan, I'm gonna be honest, if Logan sees an opportunity with a celebrity of that stature of Harry Styles, he's gonna say something on the podcast to, to squeeze it into the re like he didn't come off that show. And I would say this directly to Logan, yeah. he was here straight up. I would tell him he didn't come off this sh that show like, wow, we did a great job pushing for the the wearers of male wearing of dresses. Like he <laughs> oh did that God. because he knew it was gonna get clear. Yeah. It was going to give him, you know, a, a hand up in the fucking space, But right? again, this is just this weird game that everyone's playing. playing. And so Logan didn't really take too kindly to Mike saying all that shit. I mean, this would be like hearing that one of your best friends is talking behind your back. I don't think many people would be cool about that. Even if you're saying some true shit about me, if I told you something like within confidence, I would expect you not to literally tell anybody. And this guy, Mike, he kind of just has a loud mouth, it seems like. He'll kind of do anything for clout. He'll kind of do anything in that moment to get a leg up on another man. And so he's been running around running his mouth and apparently Logan Paul is all pissed off about this. They did an episode without Mike like a couple weeks ago. And honestly, it was fire, okay? I don't really like Mike. I think that he tries to make the whole show about himself. I think that he's a leech. And I think he's super corny for being like middle aged like he is. I think he's pretty close to 40 years old at this point. Either way, it seems like he might have been fired off impulsive. But I'm taking this information with a grain of salt. They might be just yanking the audience's chain because this information is coming from the other co-host channel. But let's just watch this video real quick. Mike said to me that, um, that you're the reason why uh, Logan fired him. Um, so, you know... <sighs> Mm. Uh, you had, uh, you had Mike on your podcast. Oh uh, yeah, I love that kid. He's a good kid. Yeah. I just think he got- Why are they calling Mike a kid? The dude is in his mid-30s. I'm pretty sure he's older than Andrew Scholes. I don't know. I always just think that's funny how on the internet everyone tries to stay so youthful. Caught up in the, in the situation and his, uh, his mouth got out of trouble. Oh, did he really get fired? Ah! <laughs> 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 
Andrew Scholl's laughing at Mike getting fired is simply fucking hilarious. Now, I don't really think it's the truth. I think that Mike will be back. I think that they're just fucking with the audience. But either way, you know that Logan Paul was feeling some type of way about this shit. I just think that he's a forgiven person, given everything that's happened in his past. But man, if one of my friends goes and talks behind my back multiple times, that's pretty much it. Can't see myself trusting or really wanting to be around that person much longer. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with all the podcasts lately. I don't know if like the pressure of the pandemic and still trying to come up with new topics and trying to be entertaining when not really much going on outside is difficult. I'm really not sure. Either way, this should be a lesson to everyone. Do not bite the hand that feeds you. This guy has been leeching off of Logan for years, and maybe he feels like he's finally ready to jump out the nest. Maybe he feels like he's finally ready to fly. I'm not sure what's going on, but a lot of shit on the internet, a lot of personalities out here are just imploding. I don't see the dude making it without Logan or hot Instagram models slash P-stars. I mean, that's his whole brand. The amount of people coming out for his skinny Adam Sandler looking ass, I don't know if it's very high. But let me know what you guys think down below. Is Mike really getting fired? Did his big mouth really fucking ruin everything? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. But let me know. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today. And thank you for subscribing. As you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And I'm out. Peace.